planning on building a giant sculpture outside so everyone can see it. What I love about this is its community art. About doing a mural, and we talked about this and that. But when I drew, drove up here in the parking lot, and I saw this empty area, I had this kind of, ah, you know, moment of this could be a sculpture space. I'm just thankful for this experience for our students and for our art teacher, and having someone like Miss Sutton who will give kids opportunities that they may not have um, outside of the traditional classroom setting. Working with kids and bringing people together is magic. Mixing up some uh, cement for the sculpture. So today my sixth graders are completing a culminating project that they learned about Claude Monet and we focused on his lilies, water lilies and they're creating a stone sculpture. Working with clay and doing this as a group project to leave our Merc at the school when we leave over to go to junior high. I didn't expect so much clay. I learned that I can create things. I, don't know. <laughs> I never knew I would. I was so gentle with stuff. I never knew I could mold clay so easily. I've never tried it before. Um, I uh, I learned that I could really slip and score very well. Our school just loves to get the kids learning authentically and cooperatively. So this is a perfect program. I don't even have a kiln, so, you know, without Helen offering to fire it and glaze it, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Cacti and rock and sky, and the curve of the rock here is kind of symbolic of the idea of uh, flow, so water, the idea of uh, lilies on water. Students who attend rural schools in Colorado are 30% less likely to have access to a complete program that includes all of the art forms. That's why projects like this are so important.